Welcome to Chapter 11 of this course on the integration between Kasambi Networks and the Adkio ecosystem. In this chapter, we will see how to transfer the variables exported by our Adkio controllers to our SCADA system in a fully automated way. This allows the data flow between the two devices to be error-free and therefore much more efficient. Additionally, it will save you from having to manually input each variable you want to import from your Adkio into the SCADA configuration. One important thing to note before continuing is that you should try to export all Adkio variables to SCADA at once, because each time you import them into SCADA, a new device will be generated. This is not a major issue since Adkio SCADA server supports any number of data sources, and therefore, any number of devices. However, to keep the information organized, it would be better if everything was under a single device. Let's begin. The first thing we will see is that I have three tabs open. In the first tab, I have the interface of an Adkio light open. In the second tab, I have a connection to our Adkio SCADA server. And in the third tab, I simply have the Adkio website open. All right. The first thing we're going to do is go to the export option in Adkio. We have a series of exported variables. Let's click the JSON button at the bottom. Right click, select all, right click again, and copy. We'll open a text editor and paste what we just copied from Adkio Lite. We'll save it and call it JSON Adkio. Perfect. We now have the file exported from our Adkio and saved to a file on the disk. What we need now is a conversion tool that allows us to convert this file to generate one that is fully compatible with the Segeda. To do this, we go to Adkio. Go to Services. Support. And within the Downloads option, we will see that we have two options. In the first one, we have the Adkio to SCADA, conversion utility. We enter that, and at the bottom, we have a button to download the utility. We click it. We'll see that it's saved in the Downloads folder. Furthermore, we simply extract it. And this will generate an icon, which will move to the desktop. Now we have it here so we can close everything. We'll temporarily minimize the browser, close the editor, and here it is. We'll run it, it will give us the usual security warning, but we'll run it anyway. And this utility will ask for three things. First, the file we want to import, which we just created, the IP address of our Adkio, which will be the data source, so SCADA can read from it, and the name we want to give the device within SCADA. All right, so the first option is the file we just generated. We don't know the second option, so we'll go to our Adkio. In this case, we could take it from here, but for you, if it's easier, you can go to Network and check what IP you're using. 10.205.15.229. Let's copy this and paste it into the utility. We'll call it Adkio Lite and click Convert. We see here that the output file is saved on the desktop, as that's where we selected the input file, and it will save it in the same folder. It gives us a small preview of the file it has generated. Now it's ready, we close the utility. Go to our SCADA, go to the configuration gear, to connections. You will see that I already have several connections here. This is an Adkio used for development for clients. So what we're going to do is add one more connection. If you don't have any, you'll follow the same process but this will be your first connection. We click the three dots, import devices, select the generated file, and we will see that our Adkio light is automatically recognized. 
the green dot indicates it is correctly connected. Let's take a look at how it looks. We can see that the name we gave it is already here, and it has been configured to use Modbus TCP with the IP address of our Adkio to collect the information. Additionally, we have all the variables with the names they had in Adkio coming from Adkio Lite, with their correct addresses configured. Let's open one of them to take a look. It comes from Adkio Lite. It's the device 9 level. It's a holding register, and because it's a holding register, SCADA automatically adds it to the address, 400,000. You'll notice that although the address is 10, if you compare these addresses with those from Adkio, within SCADA it's always one higher, because Adkio starts counting from 0, and SCADA starts from 1, so it always moves forward by 1. So, if we look for this variable, device 9 level in Adkio, you'll see that instead of address 10, it has 9, but this is completely normal. Similarly, if you want to add variables manually here, you should put exactly this same configuration. They are always holding registers in this case, always INT16, because they were exported that way in Adkio, and when you need to write the address, you'll always write one higher than what you see in Adkio. Let's check it out. The device 9 level, as you can see in Adkio, has address 9. We go back to our SCADA, and now we have the information imported. This Adkio light is already here, as you can see, with all its variables connected. From now on, when we start working with these variables in SCADA, we know they are available. As you can see, the steps are simple. Export from Adkio, convert with the utility we just saw, and import into SCADA. In the next videos, we'll see how to work with this information and explore many examples of possibilities to get the most out of our SCADA. With this, we conclude this first chapter dedicated to SCADA, and we'll see you in the next one. See you later.